the owner, Chief Thorpe. I'm really sorry for what you're going through. Thank you. Any idea how it started? Well, you ask her. Your child? Foster child. I think she might have started it accidentally. There's no accident. The girl hates us. She's a little girl. That's what she looks like. I don't know what she is. Well, are you running now? Oh, and keep practice short, because the air quality is just below orange, and I don't want you ingesting all those toxins. Mm-hmm. Yes, Mom, I'll be the healthiest girl on the team, probably in the school. Maybe I'll never die. Well, if that happened, I wouldn't hate it. What are you doing today? Uh, I have an open house at noon. The Palmer House over on Sherman. What do you have going on? I'm working with Oliver in the den. We've got to get our drawings in front of the city council pretty quick. Three other architectural firms have already submitted bids. Thank you. Hi, guys. Hey. Hey, you ready? Yeah. Oh, honey, one just for my calendar. What time is your track meet on Saturday? OK, Mom, you don't need to come to every meet. I. It's at 2 PM, Miss Long. Thank you, Derek. I'm sorry. Am I embarrassing you in front of your friends at your track meets? No, not at all. I think it's wonderful the way you insist on witnessing every moment of my life. Good. Because mm -hmm. I love it. Bye. 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 It's scary how well she's turning out. Where's that confidence come from? I thought everybody under 18 was being destroyed by the internet. <laughs> oh, my god. It's the adoption agency. Hello? Yes, this is Jessica Long. Yes, we are more than ready to... Ad yes. No, I just, um... Uh, sorry, we... Uh, this is the fourth adoption we've had fall through in three years, so I'm... No, I don't, I don't think it's your fault. My, I... Oh. I... It may not be what you had in mind, but there's another possibility. Everyone wants a baby, and they're thin on the ground these days. Would you be open to an eight-year-old girl with special needs? I mean, I know we've only talked about babies, but an older girl needs love, too. Would we be able to meet her first? Of course. How about tomorrow? Talk it over. And something to bear in mind. You're both in your 40s. Most birth mothers prefer to place their babies with younger parents, and it's only gonna get worse. The door you're waiting for may not open. Uh, give us a few minutes. We'll call back. All right. All right. Thank you. Maybe this girl could be what we've been waiting for. But it's two leaps, you know. It's just an older child and one with I special know. needs. I know. I just... It's a risk. Anytime you adopt, and I just... You can't... You can't solve every unknown before you commit. You just can't. Okay. <laughs> I love you. Okay. 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 
Hey, Oliver. Am I the kind of person that needs to figure out every angle before I commit to anything? Oh, yeah, big time. Really? Are you kidding? You're Mr. Spock. It's like, Oliver, the odds of us selling this project are 23.6 to 1. Look, some people run hot, some people not. That's why I do all the pitches. You analyze while I jump up and down. Anyway, so what, what's this all about? Well, you know we've been trying to adopt a baby. Today the agency suggested a eight-year-old child with special needs. Who was, what does Jess think? You know, Jess, she's been dreaming about a child in her arms. Yeah, well... Now maybe the dream comes true. Hey, well, what do you think? Well, I'm, I'm right there with her wanting another child. Ah, but she's ready to dive into the deep end while you're checking the pool for issues. You make me sound incredibly boring. No, 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 no. It's just that you look at things from another angle. It's like if Jess's first thought is a little girl in her arms. What's your first thought? <laughs> then we need to start making the house accessible for her. See, and that's why you guys make the perfect partners for this adventure. Thank you so much for doing Ooh. this. Of course. Oh, yes. Oh, Lanny, no! I know, I know. Come on. If you don't want me to sneak them, don't make them look so tempting. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do it, Jess? Well, everything from scratch, no processed ingredients. Never trust anything from a package. Okay. How does Carl feel about adopting this girl? Uh, he's open to it, but I mean, you know Carl. He's got to write a dissertation in his head first. Jess, why is this so important to you? You've done such a great job with Rhiannon, but in a few years she's going to be going off to college, and here you are signing up for reenlistment. What about freedom? Travel, exploring new things. So what? I should just take a cruise, learn French? I mean, nothing is more important to me than being a mother to a child who needs me and protecting them in a world that can be so dangerous in so many ways, but they need to figure it out. I mean, I can't think of anything that's more important than that. Okay, then. I'm here for you, even if it's not what I would do. <laughs> I mean, look at this place. The Palmers raised three kids here, and yet they're selling it because they can't stand how empty it is. Jess, I love how you make up things in your head. They're selling this place so they can move to Carolina Beach. Okay, no, that is what they tell everybody, but I know the real agenda. Mm. No, no. Spoken like a mom. <laughs> That's mine. Did you get this from Miss Alishine's purse? I thought you wanted a baby. Who's your idea bother you? Why would it bother me? No. You take up a lot of our attention. Okay, great. I need less attention than you're giving me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but it doesn't bother me. Seriously. You know... I've always wanted brothers and sisters, and I kind of like the idea of having a sister I can get to know before I go away to college. Oh, college. <laughs> well, don't expect all your fantasies to come true, because only children envy kids with siblings, and kids with siblings think they're in hell. Oh, mm. God. OK, Carl. Hey, the grass is always greener. Well, sure, but we don't need to go all the way to hell to make that point. Please, feel free to look forward to having a sister. I think it's a good idea. I mean, I thought you guys were going to have me changing diapers, so... <laughs> well, here we are complicating everything, and teen reactions are so simple. How will this affect me? Mm -hmm. I'm not complaining. <laughs> Is it that stressful? I just, I can't take another no. I can't. Carl? Oh. Jessica. Hi, Maya. <laughs> Hi, nice to see you oh, again. Oh, so good to see you again. I'm sure you want to hear more about Gabby before you meet her. Oh, Gabby. Gabrielle Sadler, born in a small village in Portugal to an American mother, Jeanette Sadler. When Gabby was less than a year old, her mother decided to marry a local man who didn't want children. The marriage was conditional on that. Gabby's mother chose that man over her. 
She was in an orphanage till she was five when Gabby's grandmother discovered her existence and sent for her. The timing was good as her village was still picking up from an earthquake and the orphanage was in bad shape. Lord, she's had nonstop bad luck. I mean, at least she was with family, you know, a, a grandmother who wanted her. Well, uh, soon after Gabby arrived, the grandmother started having dementia symptoms. She's in a memory care unit, and Gabby's been in foster homes ever since. Okay. What's that? It's a drawing I made for my new mother and father. So nice, Gabby. But this family already has a daughter, so there would be four people. How old is she? Fifteen. Two years of fostering, and she just keeps getting passed from one to another. I hope if this works out, it'll be her forever home. Yeah. Hi, Gabby. Hi. We have been looking forward to meeting you. Do you know who we are? Are you the maybe people? The maybe people? Whenever I ask if you might be my new mother and father, they say maybe. <sighs> Would you like that, Gabby? I want a real family, not like the Fosters. Would you love me? to sign a ton of paperwork, but here she is, a very special person. Hi, Gabby. I'm your new sister, Rhiannon. and if you want, you can call me Ray. Hello. <laughs> Did you eat? Oh, uh, yeah, I had the leftover salmon. Okay. Do you want to see your room? Oh, I'm so glad you're here. You get to take some of the heat. What heat? Well, the thing is, when you're my age, you don't need your mom checking in on you all the time. Now she's got you to occupy her, so this is a dawn of freedom for me. What are you telling her, Rihanna? Um, the same thing I'm always telling you. Mm. See, that's what I was afraid of. <laughs> OK, let's go. I, 
don't know. Well, I mean, Jess, you've had that room ready for a baby for three years now. I know. She's an eight-year-old girl with her own personality. I know. That's all it is, right? Yeah. I mean, what else could it be? I'm sure it's me. <laughs> I think I've had a long day and could use some rest. All right, let's go to bed. Are you famous? <laughs> no, not yet. Will they want me to do that? Running? Sports? No, you can do whatever you want. Here, take a seat. Are there any games you like? Um, Grandma and I used to play a card game. Yeah? It's only three cards. It's not hard. But... It got hard for her. What about games you played with other kids? Other kids don't play with me. Here. Okay. So this is Llamas in the Lake. And the llamas all try to swim to that island, see? Wanna try? <laughs> I'll be going to school in a few days. And you'll make friends then. No, I won't. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. You didn't have to do that. I saw how tired you look last night. Oh, sweetie. Thank you. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Oh, good morning. What? What's that? Oh, my bracelet? Yeah. This is a medical alert bracelet. It's 14 karat gold. What does it say? It says latex allergy. Those are odd words. Hmm? An allergy is when something makes you sick. And the thing that makes me sick is latex. Latex is a specific kind of rubber. It's very romantic, Abby. <laughs> it is, actually. <laughs> Dad got it from him and they got engaged. He said it was so he'd never lose her. Never mind, <laughs> sweetie. The more important thing is, what would you like for breakfast? Uh, do you have caviar? <laughs> My mother used to give me that. Oh, uh, oh your, your foster mother, she used to give you caviar? She's not my mother. My real mother is a famous singer. She'll come back for me someday, and I'll be a singer too. Well, that's nice. Um, we are out of caviar at the moment, but we do have cereal, and then after breakfast, I can help you get ready and wash up. I don't need help getting washed. There's a stool by the sink. Yes, but I think they we should do more than a sink wash today. I know that you are very capable, but you just need help getting... I don't need help! I washed. I don't need a bath. Okay, honey, we, we talked about this in the kitchen. Okay, we have rules in this house, and we don't just ignore each other, and at some point, you're gonna have to take a bath. I said no! Okay, fine. No bath today.
Are you sure you want to do this? Because it could be really boring. I want to be with you. <laughs> All right, you can stay till the open house starts then. But couldn't we do something else together? Well, I'd love to, but I have to work. We could go to the movies. I'm sorry, Gabby. Work comes first, OK? Hi, Elaine and Richard. This is Gabby. Well, hello, young lady. Hi. And where do you come from? Monaco. It's a city and a country. Gabby is going to help me make my famous open house cookies today. Yes, we heard they were a hit at the last showing. Oh, thank you. It's actually the aroma that's more important than the cookies, which is why I'm going to bake them in your oven. Setting the mood. Exactly. Mm. Well, we'll leave you to it then. Nice to meet you, Gabby. Yeah. We're going to have fun. Bye. OK, we're going to do dry ingredients first. So, honey, why did you say Monaco to Mr. Palmer? He asked where I came from. But you're not from Monaco. So why would you tell a fib like that? And this morning, you said your mother was a famous singer. Those are nice dreams. Mm -hmm. Monaco's a very fancy place. There's a prince and a princess. Maybe you heard about that in a movie? OK, but this is the thing. No matter how nice dreams are, we can't just say things to people that aren't true. How do you know? <laughs> how do I know what? what what's true? Elaine left her phone here. Oh, isn't it silly that I had to come back? Years ago, I wouldn't even care, but now I feel like they have to amputate that thing from my hand. <laughs> Little Gabby's quite the eccentric, isn't she? Mm. Yeah. Monaco. Carl mentioned Portugal to me. Oh. He knows that I worked out of Lisbon for a couple of years. Mm. He wondered if I knew anything about her village. I wouldn't have heard of her place except for the earthquake a few years ago. Terrible. The hospitals were full. A lot of people never found, you know? It's a lot for a little girl to take on. Mm. It's not in any of the usual places. Could one of you call my number? I don't. Kitchen, yeah, okay. yes. You mean like deliberate? Well, I refused to take her to a movie. And then I told her that I didn't believe her. And it seemed like this was payback. And then we had a fight this morning. Ooh. I offered to help her take a bath. And she insisted on just washing up at the sink. And for a minute, I thought she was going to attack me. I mean, maybe she was abused. And that's why she won't take her clothes off in front of anyone? That's a terrible thought. Either way, she's obviously not comfortable with it. I know. And she's only just made you both. If it were me, I'd give her time. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I, I thought that I would understand her better. We were both born overseas. You know, she came from Portugal. I came from Germany. And we both had to adjust as little kids. But I just, I don't. Get her. There's a probationary period, isn't there? Yes, but Carl and I agree on this. You can't bring a child into your home and then dump her where you got her. Yeah. You know, like she's the wrong size shoe or something. At least she'll be starting school in a couple of days and be out of your hair. Oh, thank God. I did do a check on the second grade teacher. <laughs> Typical Jess. Well, I know I have to. And she's got a great reputation. Mm. She's a few years from retirement, and she is supposed to be just really good with the kids. So. Good. You do you. Mm. And whatever happens, remember. We'll always have Chardonnay. We need it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do.
I know you're awake. It wasn't a secret. Are we in way over our heads? I don't know. Should we maybe get some help, like take her to some kind of counselor? I don't know. I mean, it's early. She's still adjusting. I mean, they could offer advice, at least. We don't have to take it. I know, I'm just... I'm worried that sending her to a therapist right now, that she'll see that as a way of saying something's wrong with her. We were so lucky with Rhiannon. <laughs> Come on. Oh, she had her moments. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she did. <laughs> You remember the time she she got on the wrong bus just to see what would happen? Oh, my God. He's like five years ahead. Oh, <laughs> at least. Okay, then let's, let's rise to this occasion. You know? Yeah. Maybe a few years from now, when Gabby's in college, we'll look back on today and find it funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, we won't. <laughs> yeah, probably not. <laughs> Oh, you're cute when you're wrong. shocked. You know, she wasn't expecting to find you there. When someone's surprised like that, it's, it's upsetting. Yeah. So it's okay she yelled at me? No, no. It, no, but she has a right to her privacy. Okay? Like, that room is hers. Just like this one is yours. Hers is better than mine. It's different. I saw her run her pictures. You looked proud of her. Yeah, we are. I can't run. I'm not like her. Well, you know, you'll, um, you'll find your own things. You know, special things that mean something to you. Yeah. We don't love Rhiannon because she runs. We love Rhiannon because she's Rhiannon. Hey, do you like your room? Because you have these toys and you, you don't play with them. Of course I like them. So Gabby's schooling has been pretty patchy at best. Um, she's moved around a lot, right, Gabby? And some of her fosters homeschooled when they bothered. Well, don't you worry, Gabby. We'll make sure you are caught up to the rest of the second grade in no time. Great. Okay. On today. Today, we are going to add a one-digit number to a two-digit number. Let's say Jan has 12 Pokemon stickers, and she gets two more. You're funny looking. You're a bitch. Hi. Hey there, just in time. How was practice? Still working on my form. Wow. That smells great. Right? Starving. She's just watching like a spy, Mom. She's creepy. Okay, listen, I know you were upset that she was in your room, but think about this. You have a place here, okay? She's new, and then she sees these photos of you doing things she'll never be able to do, and so I think to her, it must look like you have the world. Maybe she was just lonely and just a little bit jealous. Yeah, I guess it's possible. Yes. All right, take these over. You two can get started. Here you go. Thank you. Yeah.
How's school going? Hey, Ree, what's that bird? Oriole. You know all the birds by name because your grandma's a bird watcher. She and granddad live out in the country. We'll take you to visit one day. You will? Yeah, they're great. I have a picture of grand and granddad framed on my dresser. I'll show it to you. One second. Will they be my grandparents too? Yes. And when we visit, we'll show you where the bear looked at Grant through the window. A bear? The bear who stole the bird feeder. Oh, you're going to hear all the stories, Gabby. Will they like me? Ah! Even my trophies. She even took my trophies. Why is she here? Why is she here? Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna return everything you took to Rhiannon. Apologize to her. No, I shouldn't have to. She has enough things. Okay, being part of a forever family doesn't mean things are just handed to you, okay? It's about participating. It's, it's about being respectful to one another. And you can start by taking off that sweater and giving it back to her. That's Rhiannon's sweater. Are you sure? Yeah, it's cropped. I like this sweater. Why can't I have it? Because it doesn't belong to you. Okay. I'll knit you another sweater, whatever color you want. I like this. Now what for Rihanna? Okay, this is ridiculous. Take off that sweater. Okay, you know what? You need to go and you need to stay in your room and think about what you did. Go. Or I will pick you up and I'll carry you there. just a sprain. Okay. I feel, I feel like the thing I told you at the hospital, you think I'm paranoid. <laughs> I just don't think that toy was left there deliberately. I mean, kids leave things around all the time. So do a lot of adults. Yeah. You know, we were wondering if we can handle this girl. What if she's thinking the same thing about us? Deciding if she doesn't like us, if she doesn't like me because I go up and down those stairs all the time with that laundry basket. She is a troubled kid. <laughs> She's not a master criminal. So what are you doing today? Well, I'm supposed to do notes on the houses that I've listed, but I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I can help. I uh, thank you, Gabby, but you have to go to school today. Do I have to? <laughs> yes. The eternal question. All right, maybe I can help when I get back tonight, okay? Thank you. Good day. You too. Okay, get ready for school. I'll be right back. <laughs> hey, Lanny. Day. I say wine bar tonight. 
Ugh, believe me, but did I tell you I sprained my wrist? So you can lift the glass with your other hand. <laughs> right. I don't know. I... What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this is weird, but I think Gabby was using my computer. Why would an eight-year-old girl be looking up adoption regulations? The dog is sad. When Joni and Sam come home, Buddy plays with them. Question one, why is Buddy sad? Write your answers. Gabby, you're not writing. May I go to the bathroom, Mrs. Benenfeld? Yes, you, you may. Gabby's missing from school. What? How can she be missing? She's supposed to be in class. I know, I know. She asked to use the bathroom. Nobody's seen her since. They're searching the school for her. Let's go. Sorry. We've been over every room once, and so now we're going back and checking every inch, every cupboard, every... Um... Um... things from the teacher's lounge? Mrs. Long? Mr. Long? I think we need to talk. Yeah. yeah. Are you okay? I'll be back. Let's go. The teacher said she's extremely bright and must have had some advanced homeschooling. Oh. So they're keeping her out for a little while while they test her and figure out where to recreate her. Does this mean you might have a a child genius? I don't know what we have. Mm. I mean, being a child genius wouldn't explain her having her period. Mm. If she has it. Did you confront her about that? Yeah. She admitted taking the tampons from Rhiannon's room and claimed that she didn't know what they were. I don't buy it. Do you hear girls are getting their period younger these days? Okay, yes, fine, sure. But then why lie about it? And, you know, she just... She doesn't seem like an eight-year-old. She doesn't play with little girl toys. I thought maybe the braces were an indication that she was older, but apparently mm -hmm. kids as young as seven can have them. But, you know, adults can too, so who knows? Jess, why would she lie about being a child? Where's the reward? Well, Carl and I are supporting her, so she doesn't have to work for a living. She could probably squeeze a college education out of us and, you know, who knows what else. How old do you think she is? I don't know. But you said work for a living, so you must... I know, I just... I have wondered if she's an adult. I know that sounds incredible. What does Carl think? Carl thinks that she was curious about the tampons and that she's extremely bright for her age. That part he likes. So I'm pretty much on my own in this. And I don't even know what to make of her looking up adoption regulations on my laptop. Oh, maybe she's worried, wants to see how easy it would be for you to reverse the adoption. Yeah, or she's wondering what would happen to her if something happened to us. What would happen to you? Hey, Derek. 
Eric. Hey. Reed's not ready yet. So where are you two going this afternoon? Well, I'm trying to get Reed to go to the science center with me, but she always says the weather's too nice to be indoors. Well, your odds aren't good today either. Another beautiful Saturday. Feel free to hang out when I'm going back to work. sister. Hello. Want a soda? Uh, I'm okay, thanks. <laughs> so, are you going anywhere interesting today? I'm, uh, not sure. You should go to the Science Center. Really? Yeah. They have an exhibit on the space shuttle. Are you interested in science? I love it. I love learning things. <laughs> Oh, no. I... I lost my earring. I'll find it. Oh, I found it. I'd hate to lose one of these things. See how nice they are? We should get going. When I get home, I want those earrings back in my box. Bye. I know how it sounds, but I am not jealous. I'm really not. She's a liar and a thief. And my parents are all just, give her a chance. She needs to learn what a family is like. Well, why do we have to teach her? Hey. I'm not saying much. Isn't there something wrong about this whole thing? What do you think? Well, now that you mention it, yeah. He misunderstood. He's not stupid, Dad. I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm just saying when you're a boy of 15, you can sort of dwell on the subject of sex a little more than a girl of 15 might realize. You think he's seeing something that's not there? I think an eight-year-old girl is not out to steal anybody's boyfriend. Who says that she's eight? We both saw her birth certificate. Not just the American version, the original Portuguese one. OK, OK, so she's a little girl who is educated beyond her years, is stealing tampons, and has somehow convinced a 15-year-old boy that she is flirting with him. I'm... We need to talk to her. No, I'm eight years old. I'm eight. Why do you want me to lie to you? OK, Gabby, honey, listen. However old you are, we're not going to punish you. I'm eight. I'm eight. OK, Gabby, calm down. It's Rhiannon, and isn't it? Talking about me behind my back. She doesn't want me here, and she doesn't want to share anything. I mean, you all go on about family, but you don't mean it. OK, Gabby, honey, just calm down. Nobody's. You're not what I wanted. I wish I'd never come here. OK. Well, so much for the talking to her method. Well, maybe we need somebody who's better talking. Well, I know you're not sold on the idea, but I think it's time for a child therapist. Do you really think a child therapist is what we need here? You're just going to tell them everything I say. No, I'm not. This is between me and you. But I will talk to your parents later about what I think. Let's talk about your time in America. How did you like living with your grandma? She was OK. Mm -hmm. Until she got confused. And before that, in Portugal? Can you tell me about the earthquake? It was dark. And then the earth started to shake. Well, that must have been pretty scary. Yeah, it was. 
I yelled and woke the dorm. And helped the little kids get up. Well, you were you're pretty little yourself, weren't you? That was three years ago. You were what? Around five? Yeah. So you got out? No. I was inside. The ceiling came down on me. I couldn't move. I thought it would be okay. I thought someone would come. Well, they must have tried. No. No one tried. No one looked. They left me all by myself, in the dark. How long were you trapped? Three days. But they found you. They found me by accident. Can you tell me about your new family? Do you like them? I don't like them for bringing me here. Is there anything you've done that you feel bad about? No. I do what I need to. Well, she's had more than her share of drama. I think she's at a crossroads. You've heard of Le'Veon Rose? Seeing life through rose-colored glasses? Yes. For Gabby, it's Le'Veon Noir. She sees the world as dark and dangerous. So what does that mean for us? Well, clearly she's very bright for age, but when someone's in a dark place, they may see enemies where there are none, and then they may take action to protect themselves. So what can we do? You can show her that she can rely on you, that the world isn't dark and dangerous. But the world is dark and dangerous. And yet children need to feel safe. Yeah, we'll try. It'll take time. What if we don't have time? Dr. Lee, I, we have another daughter at home, and Gabby at, at times seems jealous, e even hostile towards her. Hostile might be going oh, too okay, far. Okay, Carl, th this is important, and we can't be blind to it. Gabby just came into our lives a few weeks ago, and she is saying that she is eight years old. Her documents say that she's eight, but I have to say, given the way she behaves, I think that she may be lying. I think she may be lying about that and, and other things. I would have to assess her further, but if she were in fact pretending to be something she's not, like manipulating you or taking advantage of your emotional weak spots, it changes things. We'd be talking less about trauma and more about psychopathy. Psychopathy? Does that mean that she's dangerous? Potentially. Now? You wouldn't let me keep the posters. I wanted something pretty for my room. Stop it! Come on. No! 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 Go out of your Let me down! I... I just don't get it. Why do I have to stay with Lanny? And why is Gabby locked in her room? She didn't really try to hurt me, did she? We just think it's better for you to spend a few days away. When we settle some things. What things, though? What is going on? Listen, we don't feel that it's safe to have Gabby living here. Great. We can't just drop a child off on a doorstep. So we have to make arrangements. We have to get a hold of the adoption agency, and I don't know how long that's going to take. And keeping you safe is the most important thing in our lives. Yes. So you're going to Lonnie's. You understand? Mister, I understand. Okay, she's here. Let's go. Hey. Thank you for doing this. I really appreciate it. You'll love it. My condo is next to a bakery. Chocolate pastries from heaven. <laughs> yep. It's 
I know this feels like a terrible failure, but you know we can't have Gabby stay here. She was going to be a part of our family. I know. I know, sweetheart. You know how much I wanted this. It is killing me to think that it, it's just a dream. <laughs> Hello? Yes. It's child welfare. Yeah, this is Jessica. Gabby, I don't want you to worry about anything you say. You're not going to get in trouble for talking with us. And I don't want you to worry about anyone else. What is she telling them? I mean, she could say anything, and they will have to take her seriously. God, even the truth looks bad. Locking her in a room? I know. I know. Bree? Everything okay? Yeah, all good here. Um, I'm just really confused about what's going on there. Well, what, do you, what do you mean? Nothing's going on here. Well... I'm on the family page, I'm online, and... I thought the adoption agency said we weren't allowed to post pictures of Gabby to social media. We're not. Well, it's up there. And there's this text with it, and it doesn't sound like either of you guys. Our darling little girl, she's been through an ordeal, but that ends now because we've welcomed this lost angel into our arms. Oh my God, and then more about how she's so sad and how amazing we are. This makes it look as if we were trying to pass ourselves off as saints. Bree, thanks, honey. Uh, oh my God. We're gonna try and get to the bottom of this. You stay safe. Yeah, this is, it's fine, honey, we've got this. We love you, okay? Love you guys. Love you. I love you, honey. I don't know how many more levels of bad we can reach today. What do you think this looks like? abusers that are using their adopted child as publicity. I mean... Deleted. Hopefully nobody's seen it yet. Well, it's got 89 smiley faces and 12 comments. <sighs> she did this. She did this. What? I don't know how she did it, but she did it. But why? To hurt us, Carl. I mean, it's the same reason that she left that toy on the stairs where I walk up and down every single day. The same reason that she went after Rihanna. Jess, how? Your laptop is logged off when you're not using it. How could I you... I don't know. I don't know how. I also don't know how David Blaine catches a bullet in his teeth, but he does it. We finished. For the time being. But... We'll be back. Why? We've explained. Yes, Mr. Long, your explanations have been accounted for. Gabby backed you up. Okay, so why isn't this all over with then? When a child has bruises, we take it very seriously. And they're not always forthcoming about how these things happen. We'll be checking in again. Thank you. to those people and destroy our lives any time we do something she doesn't like. And then we're, we're done. Our reputations are gone. And I don't just mean your project, because who wants to buy a house from a child abuser? Like, who wants to be friends with a child abuser? What do we do? 
I don't know, do we move? Do we change our names? I mean, would that even work? Because the internet just follows you everywhere. And they thought we were harming Gabby. Would they want to remove Rihanna from our custody too? Oh my God. You're right, it's not just my work. We could literally lose everything that matters. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. We can't be the first people that she has taken advantage of. We need to drill down into her past. Jess, do you, do you know how this sounds? Gabby backed our story to child welfare. Yes. Yes. Because she is a manipulator. Oh my God. Somebody put that story online. Somebody who was in her house and had access to the adoption folder. What do you think? You think Oliver did it? Do you think Rhiannon did it before she left the house? Hey, I get it. It's possible. Then let's... Please, defend ourselves. She doesn't get many visitors. I'm sure she'd like to hear about her granddaughter, but the truth is, she may not remember she has one. Okay. She prefers to be called June. Thank you. June? Oh, gosh. You're a knitter. I am too. Oh. <laughs> Can I sit with you? Oh. Yes, yes. Fighting. We were always fighting. Mm. What were we just talking about? Your daughter, Jeanette, who went to Portugal? Well, she can't go to Portugal. Portugal, she's only seven. So, you and your daughter, you fought a lot. Is that why she didn't tell you that she had a baby? Your granddaughter, Gabby. The little girl. The little girl who will always be little. Yes. Yes, Gabby. Yeah. Don't you just love purple? Oh, I do. I do. So, Gabby? She didn't look anything like her. They said she looked just like her mother. I can't believe we're sitting outside of our own house, so we won't be overheard. <laughs> okay, this is what I got from the adoption agency. It's an Acres house. Gabby's foster family. Okay, what are you telling me? So the foster dad blamed Gabby, but the insurance blamed the foster dad. Seems he's a drinker, and they think he fell asleep with a lit cigarette. The fire started in his bedroom. Okay, if that were true, why would he blame Gabby? Well, they think he, it was because he was afraid that he wouldn't get the insurance payout if the fire was due to his own negligence. And no matter what, she comes out smelling like a rose, right? We, we can't be sure that she was behind it. There's no real evidence. How many benefits of the doubt are you gonna give this girl? We don't even know who she is. What does that even mean? I... The grandmother said she doesn't look anything like the mother. Okay. So what proof do we have that this is Gabby? A birth certificate. Yes. Yes, a birth certificate with an unbelievable age. Aside from that, what else is there? There's not really anything else. <laughs> there was a disaster in our town, right? Mm -hmm. People went missing, they were never found. The authorities, they, they were confused, they, they were overwhelmed. Grandmother sends for her. How do we know that it's really Gabby that shows up in the United States? I mean, all the grandma has to go on is, you know, whatever paperwork was sent to her from Portugal at that time. So who's to say the girl who shows up on the doorstep isn't some much older girl running a scam? Because that's a pretty nice life, right? A soft landing in the United States with some generous, sweet old lady. It's a theory. Yeah. It's a theory 
that would explain pretty much everything. I mean, this girl's been a psychopathic liar from the beginning, and she can do whatever she wants without fear of consequences because she has a piece of paper that says she's eight years old. I don't know. I, basing all of this off of what a senile woman <sighs> happens to say? Come on. Fine, okay, what if I'm right? Then where's Gabby? The real Gabby? I mean, is she, is she alive somewhere in Portugal or not alive? We can confront her. I'll, I'll back you up in that. Good. I think we should do it today. Uh, she's in her room. Uh, when she got hungry, I ordered us some pizza. But uh, if you wanted something healthier, you should ask someone else to babysit. I haven't eaten all day. I have a monster headache. Yeah. I just want a few minutes before the fireworks start with Gabby again. Would you please get me some ibuprofen? I think I left the bomb in the den. We're neck and neck with stress these days, huh? I know, honey. I know. Are you guys all right? You seem a little jumpy. Uh, no, we're, we're okay. Uh huh. Are you okay? Oh! Why wouldn't I be okay? You've been acting a little funny. <laughs> that's good. That is good. Yeah, that's a good manipulation technique. You blame the other person for their reactions to the things that you are doing. I'm not doing that. Well, what are you doing? Isn't completely oblivious after all. Who are you, really? What? How did you get Gabby's birth certificate? Oh, come on, we know. Oh, so you can just cut it out with the I'm a little girl routine. You need to be honest with us. I'm going back to my room. No, 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 no. We are gonna settle this right now. It's 17 Highview Drive. My wife just went into anaphylactic shock. I administered her epinephrine. Yes, yes, thank you. How long before they get here? Thank you. Okay. They're only a few minutes away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell is going on? Just went into anaphylactic shock. An ambulance is on the way. The dishwashing gloves, I think they're... I think they're latex. What? How, how, how does that happen? No, 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 no. They're going to your room. Oliver, you stay here and keep a watch on Gabby. I'm going to the ER with Jess. But this, this is crazy. Yeah, I told Jess her suspicions were crazy, and look where we are. The important thing is always to get the epinephrine injected intramuscularly as soon as possible. And you manage that. Well, we just like to keep you under observation for a little while longer. Of course. Okay, so we have got to figure something out. Yeah, first thing we got to do is get her out of our house. Oh my God. I'll call the adoption agency and I'll have them pick her up. Or I can drive her to them, but she's gone, okay? Good night. How do you feel about involving the police? I mean, I'm not thrilled with the idea. Yeah, me neither, I mean, what evidence have we got? Oops, someone made a mistake with the gloves. I. No. 
Those gloves were placed there deliberately. I know, but there's no way to prove it wasn't accidental. No, you're right. She's always got plausible deniability on her side, doesn't she? Honey, I'm sorry. I've been so hard to convince. I should have taken your words more seriously. It's okay. Just, we're in it together now. Yeah. I'm gonna go home. All right, I'll meet you there. We'll have her stuff packed in the car. See you soon. So I made it very clear that uh, Gabby tried to harm or even kill you. I heard that part. What was her reaction? Uh, shocked, but professional. I guess she's been seen a lot. Uh, she said they don't have the facilities to deal with violent criminal behavior, so I'm going to um, drive Gabby to a psychiatric hospital where she'll meet us. Okay. We'll evaluate her, and then I guess the uh, social workers will take her from there. Yeah. Gabby will be back in the system. It's in the worst place. Oh, my God. Oh, hey. Oh, God. Okay, don't be upset. I took a taxi. Are you okay? Yes. What happened? Lanny told me you were in the hospital. Is there and... nothing Lanny refuses to share? Okay, she was upset. I kept at her. Listen, I had an allergic reaction, but I am fine. How can you have a reaction? You never go in your latex. Oh, my God. Does this have to do with Gabby? I'm going to drive you back to Lanny's. No, wait, wait. Is that still necessary? I mean... Your mother and I have a lot to talk to you about. Yeah. Let's go. <sighs> She's in her room, and I haven't heard a peep. Okay, you two pack her bag. I'll make sure that she takes a bath and is ready to go. Is that necessary? Well, I don't want anyone saying that we neglected her, and I'm not sure she's doing a good job of washing herself. Bree, I want you to stay in your room, honey. Okay. Gabby? Yeah? I, I need you to come with me, Gabby. Where? We're going to see Mrs. Savage from the adoption agency, and you're going to be spending the night. So you need to take a bath and get some things together. Why? Where am I going? Back to my last foster family? You're going to a place where people can help you. Is this like that therapist I had to talk to? No. I know the kind of place you mean. Will they lock people up? I won't go. Let's go pack our things. You get in and out of the tub. I'll leave you with the soap. I'm not gonna look at you. But I know you're not a little girl. Okay, so let's not pretend. I'm 15. Are you? I mean, you tell so many lies, it's hard to keep track, right? Are you 15? Are you 18? Are you 20? I only lie about my age. No. No. What about your famous mother, the singer, and your life in Monaco? <laughs> so I talked big, OK? I knew you knew that was crap, OK? I embarrassed myself because I wanted you to like me. You're good. Such a good manipulator. You don't want to go away. So now you're giving me a half confession. It's not going to work this time. You will be sorry. You will take a bath. I'm going to go get the towels. She really doesn't want to take a bath. 
Maybe it's not worth pushing it, Jess. Let's just move on. Oh my god. She went out the back. Gabby? Gabby! 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 Come here, sweetie. Come on, sweetie, it's okay. Gabby! Gabby! We want to help you, Gabby! I know it's upsetting, but we find most runaways around here in 24 hours. We'll make sure the photo is widely distributed. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you so much. How are you doing? You know. I know Gabby's just a kid, but I don't like the way she said we'd be sorry. She's not a kid. And I am really grateful that the police are involved. Thumping. Oh, God. We have mice. I can't deal with them tonight. Oh, Carl, honey, please. It's been such a crappy week, and I just... I feel better when you're next to me. Please. Come on. I'm just gonna look around a little. Okay. I mean... It'll be morning before you know it. Um, honey, I think I found a culprit. I, I can't hear it if you talk. What culprit? <laughs> there it is. That's not what I heard. things about me that aren't true. You mean like you tying her up? She tried to poison me, Carl. Does that not matter? That she tried to murder me. You're defending her? Did she just? Where did she get the gloves? Did she drive into town and, 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 and go shopping? She is very resourceful. I think she had someone from school get those gloves for her. She hasn't been to school in two weeks. 
They're still working out what grade she should be. Please don't do this. Just if I check the grocery receipts, would gloves be on your last one? Persecutory delusional disorder. It's not surprising that you didn't spot it. Because outside of their particular delusions, such patients are fully rational. I keep feeling like I should have known. The brain plays a trick on these people. She didn't see Gabby as a harmless child. She saw her as an enemy, hiding in plain sight. Your wife really thought that she was defending herself and her family. I know you've only just seen her, but can she be helped? These conditions can be challenging. Behavioral therapy may work, but it depends on how willing she is to accept treatment. Right now, she's not willing at all. She, she doesn't trust you or me. That's the problem, isn't it? Unless she's willing to bring herself to trust our good faith, she'll actively work against getting better. You're not making me feel better, doctor. I don't want to mislead you, but you should know that we have treated people with similar conditions, and they've found their way home again. Is she all right? Your mother has an illness. It can, uh, it's something that can make people see enemies who aren't really there. No one would choose to, to, to be sick this way. It's just a, it's a bad thing that happens to them. Will she get better? The doctors are going to keep her to try to find the right treatment for her. It may take a while. How long? They don't know. Gabby, why did you lie about your age? At the orphanage, they always told me the little kids get taken home. Nobody wants the older ones. So when Grandma sent for me, 
I asked the kid I knew to change my birth certificate. His brother used to make IDs for getting into clubs in the city. Grandma didn't know any better. All she heard was that my mother had a child in an orphanage somewhere. She didn't know how old I was or where I was. I think she wrote to every orphanage in the country. I thought, this is my chance. She'll love me if I'm young. She'll keep me. And what about taking Rihanna's things? Dad, I'm not mad about that now. I know. I'm just, I'm just trying to understand. You just love her so much. I, I thought if I were just like her and had the things she had and like the things she liked, you know, really sisters, you know, you might, might, might love me. You want to leave? I won't blame you. But we were so sure of ourselves, weren't we? And instead of helping, we were just one more thing you had to go through. Are you willing to give us another chance? I know it's asking a lot, and, and the agency might not want to allow it. I'll take that as he <laughs> We'll fight like hell to keep you, okay? Detective stories. Won't you look at me? What's the point? I tried to hurt a little girl. I mean, I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't. What I did was unforgivable, and I can't undo that. It was the illness, Jess. It wasn't you. No, it had to be me, because nobody else made me do it. Rihanna misses you. She came second in the 800 meter. <laughs> Gabby and I were cheering her on. Look, I won't say that Gabby's been all smooth sailing. We've had our arguments. I don't think she's ever going to be an easy kid. And the agency's monitoring our every move. Well, I mean. <laughs> but she's really settling in, Jess. She's learning to knit. From watching videos online. She made some awful potholders, but then she made this. Thought it was a scarf, but she said it's a shawl. <laughs> For if you get cold, you said nothing you did was forgivable, but uh, for a kid who never had a mother, she might have a different point of view. Look, I, I know I can't even understand how tough this is for you. But don't give up on us. We keep working. Okay, we all want you home. I want to come home. I really do. I know. So Gabby's really... She's an amazing kid, Jess. <laughs> and she's wanted a family for so long. You should see how well she's doing. And I think... I think she finally feels safe. Hello, Dr. Bachchan Kupshundu at drawing. A drawing to color jonna normal color pencil. We have worked with this. Quite a long pencil. Chilo, quite a color. Chilo. Kiba we drawing to color. Kiki long pencil. Laglo. 
এই ভিডিওতে আমরা আপনাদের সাথে শেয়ার করব অবশ্যই ভিডিওটা মনোযোগ সহকারে আপনারা প্রত্যেকে দেখে নেবেন No, there are not eight teachers in the class. Is there one teacher in the class? Yes, there is one teacher in the class. What is my name? Your name is Sam. Like I told you before, we use the article a with non-specific singular objects. A book, a table, a room. But some objects are uncountable. These are objects without a particular form or size. For example, water, tea, coffee. With uncountable nouns, we don't use the article a. There is water in the cup. There is coffee on the floor. There is tea on the table. I hope it was helpful. Now let's have some practice. A room, a room, a hall, a hall, a cup, a cup, a glass, a glass, water, water, coffee. Coffee D D How many? How many? Of Of A glass of water A glass of water a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee. A cup of tea. A cup of tea. How many cups? 
are there on the table? How many cups are there on the table? 